I'm going to show you guys how to use a Makita Vac 2 gallon compressor to winterize an irrigation sprinkler system. This is an electric compressor, so make sure you have an extension cord and it's plugged in. Before you rent it, make sure it's not uh, releasing air from either of the two valves that's here. So test it by turning it on and off. If you turn it on, it shouldn't release air from either of the two. So this one is good. There's another valve at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it right there. So this one can be opened and closed manually. You use it when you finish winterizing. You just open it to drain whatever air is remaining in the in the tank. Now the way the compressor works is a pretty simple concept. You want to make sure that the zones, the system is running simultaneously with the with the compressor. So right now zone 1 is running for 5 minutes and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build pressure to somewhere between 100 and 140 and that can also be regulated using this over here. So if it's going up to 80 you can increase it so that it goes up to 120 or 140 you don't want to go past 140 it's unnecessary you might damage the sprinkler heads <clears throat> so you build pressure you plug in into the compressor and then it creates any remaining water into the running zone and once you have that you do it twice for every zone you go through zone one zone two depending on how many zones you have until you finish. So I'm going to show you how you actually connect the compressor to the sprinkler system. So there's a cord like this that's used for the air that's moving from the compressor to the irrigation system. The way you plug it in is you just pull this backwards, you put the cord in and you let it hot. So I had to use two cords because my connecting point is a little bit far. Now, for the cord everywhere, it's the same concept. You pull to remove or to connect. You pull this part, you plug in, you did this. So now it's film. So the air will be moving this side. So this is the connecting part, part for the system. The water is shut off from the inside the house. And you need an adapter like this that you can buy online for around $5. Or you can make one of your own to be able to connect this hose to the tap. So the adapter is made of three parts. I had to make one of my own. So this is a three quarter by half inch um, female to female adapter. And then this is a half inch by three eighth um, male to female. And then there's this connecting part, this adapter for the, for the hose. So I'll put that there and connect now since zone one is running okay let me just turn on another zone manually I'm gonna demonstrate how that's going to work so all the connection points are well connected now all I need to do is build pressure here and then plug in the the hose to the compressor
So right now the compressor is releasing air and it's going back to zero. You want to make sure that there's no water coming out of the head. So zone one is properly winterized right now. So I'm going to go to zone two, repeat the process. Let pressure build while zone two is running. Plug in into the compressor. Set air through zone two. Once zone two is winterized, I go to zone three until I finish the whole system.